Hey, what's going on guys? Today on the channel, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to install your virtual machine on an external hard drive. We'll also talk a little bit about how to move it if you might already have it installed. So we're doing this with VirtualBox and I'm actually just using a 32 gig SanDisk flash drive for the purpose of this video. So why would you want to put your virtual machine on a different storage drive? Well, probably the main reason is you don't have enough storage on your main computer hard drive. And that makes perfect sense because virtual machines, depending on the size that you create them to be, well, they can be uh, rather large. So that's why you might wanna do this. So we're gonna go over real quickly here how to install it onto a flash drive. And then maybe if you already have it installed, we'll also talk about how to move it to another drive as well. So real quickly, what I'm gonna do is we're in VirtualBox 7. And I'm going to show you how to install it on there from the beginning. So this is if you do not have a virtual machine whatsoever. For the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to be using Windows XP just because it's smaller and quick to install. But anyways, right here you can see it says folder. So by default, VirtualBox will store all of your files related to a virtual machine in a folder called VirtualBox VMs. Now this folder is found in your home folder or your main folder uh, under users here uh, on macOS. And it's the same way on Windows and installs it in your main uh, area on there as well in the file explorer. So it's as simple as changing this file destination to the flash drive. So all you have to do Click on that drop down menu, hit other, and when you hit other, it'll bring up your file selecting window here. And all you gotta do is find your external storage that you want to install it on. In our case, it's this empty flash drive and you just hit open and it's as simple as that. So it's gonna create it here on your flash drive for you. Super duper simple. Now let's go ahead and just kind of quickly breeze through this. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. It's just Windows XP. Uh, you know, don't really have to put anything too crazy spec wise uh, for that. By the way, if you're wondering how to install a virtual machine, I'm sure you already know how to do that if you're watching this video. But if you want to know, it's there are tons of videos on my channel uh, for all different operating systems, different virtual machine, uh, uh, virtual box versions, and all sorts of stuff from the past few years. So. Be sure to head to my channel and check all that stuff out. There's a lot of other VirtualBox tips and tricks on there as well. But anyways, this virtual machine is now gonna be installed on our flash drive. And if I open my flash drive, you will notice there's now a Windows XP folder. So what VirtualBox does is it creates a folder titled whatever you titled the virtual machine, in our case, Windows XP. And if you go into that folder, you're gonna notice uh, two or several different files here. Uh, we are missing one file, which is a .vbox file, but that'll be created after we open the virtual machine for the first time. That basically just kind of saves all of your settings and stuff that you configure the machine with. Now this one right here is actually gonna be the big file. This is the uh, VDI VirtualBox disk image file. This is where all your storage is gonna be for the machine and everything like that. So you just saw that we did 25 gigabytes so over time, if we fill this up, that file could be 25 gigabytes and all that will be taken up storage on your external hard drive. Let's go ahead and open this Windows XP machine just real quickly. We'll go ahead and attach the ISO file just so we can kind of briefly start the installation process here. And see, it's gonna pop up. I'm just gonna select my Windows XP ISO. We'll hit mount and retry. And this is basically going to show you the beginning installation here for Windows XP. So you can see that it is booted up, it is loading, and this is actually running completely off of this flash drive. So none of these files are actually stored, like I said, on my actual computer. Um, you can see right here, there's a log file that's already generated for us. And this is the .vbox file I was telling you about. It kind of stores all your settings. But yeah, uh, it's that simple. All this is now running off of the flash drive and it's all stored on there. So just to show you that also, we'll go ahead and quit this virtual machine. We'll power it off. 
and I'm going to go over here to our flash drive and I'm going to hit eject and it's now been ejected so now if we go to start the virtual machine we will get an NS error failure which is the error that you're going to get when it can't find the file so there you go you can see it does not work because that storage device has been removed so if I go over here and I re-plug in that flash drive it pops up you hit start and this time around it should power up for you so there we go just give it a moment and there you go so um, probably one of the main things you're wondering is is this really going to affect the performance of the virtual machine running it off of an external uh, flash drive or something like this really the answer to that is most likely it's not I mean most computers nowadays have flash storage just like a flash drive and a lot of external hard drives are kind of external SSDs now the only time you might notice this slowing down is if you put this on an external hard drive uh, that's not SSD then you might notice some kind of performance issues but on this flash drive right here it runs totally fine and Windows XP I know is not a very demanding uh, operating system but even if you try this with Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, Linux, I mean anything like that it's gonna run just like it would on your computer I mean you honestly can't really tell a difference which is pretty good um, I, I think it's a great way to kind of save some storage space obviously you can install as many virtual machines as you want as long as you have plenty of storage on your external drive now real quickly we'll talk about uh, let's say you already have your virtual machine uh, installed here in VirtualBox and you have it saved to your computer well what if you want it to move uh, those files uh, and the hard disk and all that stuff to your um, external drive well it's actually very very simple uh, to do that so you might think it's as simple as going in there and just dragging the files over but actually if you do that it's not going to work you have to actually move it through VirtualBox as a manager here and moving it through here is super duper simple so literally all you have to do is right click on the virtual machine that you want to move and you click on move I mean it can't get any more simple than that right there so if I click on that it will then pop up uh, right here to wherever you want to select to move it to now I'm gonna just put it in the default folder um, but in your case you will already have it in that default folder so you'll just select your external drive and then it'll go right in there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in this virtual box VMs folder and just hit open on that and that's literally it uh, it might take you a little bit longer uh, than what just happened here because well I didn't have anything really installed no storage taken up so it moved it very quickly but if you have a very large uh, VDI file then it could take a little bit of time you'll actually see a loading bar and stuff like that pop up but if we look right here go in this folder you notice that it's now empty because all those files have been moved into this right here so there they are it's as simple as that you can move it around no problem so anyways guys that's just a real quick video today kind of telling you a little bit about this just to help you out save some storage space on your computer Anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching the channel as always, and I'll catch you on the next video.